Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel or welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Liz and this is Let's Get Lizical where we do everything card making. Today we're making a quick and simple card. Um, I decided to make this for my nephew. It's his first year at JK. So it's a little bit of an encouragement card because I know on his first orientation day he was a little nervous. But by the sounds of it he's doing much better now. Which is great and hoping he gets this by the time this video comes out and if not the day of. But anyway, onto the card. We're using an F MFT set called Little Rascals, which came out, I believe, last year. And it's the most adorable little raccoon set. I love these. If Mama Elephant does a little raccoon set, I will freak. These are adorable. Mama Elephant will be more adorable. <laughs> so just putting that out in the universe. That would be great. <laughs> um, but anyway, so I decided to pick two of the images. Uh, for the background, I'm just re-stamping the same image over and over again. It's kind of like one of the more like worried looking raccoons. And then for the main image that I'm going to color, I'll use one that's like super excited. And I'm going to be using the sentiment, it's trash can, not trash can't. You've got this, which I will heat emboss white on black in a bit. Also, just to mention, I am stamping this right directly on the card base. You don't necessarily have to do that if you want to do a white card base and then do, this is Nina Desert Storm cardstock, I think in the 80 pound. Um, so if you want to do a panel of that, you could do that on top of just so that you had a white inside of the card. But because it's craft paper, it's easy enough to write on and visible. So I like to just do the full on card in the Desert Storm. And for the ink color, again, I used Lawn Fawn's Dough Ink because I like using that combination of the Nina Desert Storm and the Dough Ink because the Dough Ink kind of like makes it more of a, like a tonal background, uh, which is what I did in my Pirates and Postage video, which I can link at the end of this as well, um, which was another like fun card to make and had like a similar feel to it where we did like the craft background with the tonal print on top. But coming back to this card, I'm just using Copic markers for this one. I think I use a few other random ones just for the inside of his mouth, but I'm using the cool grays in, I think, C9 and 7 and then 5 and 3. And then I end up using a little bit of the one on his belly. So pretty much every other one. Um, I don't have a full set, but I do have like the odd numbers which is fine. I don't think you need a full set of markers in grays. Like every other one is fine. You get good blends with them. And then once this coloring's done, I will take it to my scan and cut a little bit later. We're going to do the sentiment first, uh, which you'll see that I've kind of butchered a little bit. <laughs> I've done my own stamp surgery because the layout for the saying is not the way I want it. Like I want it to say, it's trash can on one line, not trash can't on the second line. And then you got this on the third line, whereas the stamp itself is only on two lines and it says it's trash can not. And then the rest of it is on the second line, which I don't like. <laughs> so it's okay to cut your stamps apart, guys. They will go back together. I know at first I was a little bit like, I don't want to do that as well, but I've done it quite a bit. I've even taken like cuticle trimmers to some because I don't like when stamp sets, especially for like cats and dogs come with extra lines on the inside where like you can fill in different colors. Like I want to be able to color that animal like the pet of the person I'm giving it to. So I want to be able to um, work around those lines. And sometimes it's a little too hard to um, work around those with the ink. So I just decided to cut those lines out. It's another couple of MFT sets that I did that too. And it works for me. So it's okay to alter your stamps if you need to for yourself. Um, and it's fairly easy to do. So again, back to this card, I have my sentiment split up into the three lines. I did the middle line first for placement, and I'm, then I'm going to do the top and the bottom ones, and I'm using Lawn Fawn's Clear Embossing Ink, and then I'll use Michael's Recollections um, 
embossing powder in the white, I think it's called Snow, and it's fine detail. And then I'm just going to use this paintbrush here to brush away any little bit of extra that might have stuck to the cardstock. And when I'm done heating it, you'll see that I also have to scrape a little bit. There's a few spots still here and there that were hard to get to with the paintbrush. And I would have had to probably redo it. So I didn't bother. I left it and I just use my like picker tool afterwards if it's in like a tight area if it's around the sentiment and you're careful you can use your sand erasers um but i usually just use my picker tool and just like kind of like scratch it off a bit and then you can go over it um with the cloth like this and wipe it and then you can also use like a latex or like silicone based eraser to also go over that to help clean it up i think i've shown that in previous videos as well uh, especially on darker colored cardstocks, I find sometimes using those erasers help um, even more than the microfiber cloth for picking up all of that extra powder. So originally I was going to fussy cut this, and you guys know I hate fussy cutting, so I decided to put this one image through my scan and cut just so that it had a bit of a more even border. And then I'm going to prop up both the sentiment and the image on some foam tape. This is the 1 16th inch thickness from Michaels and it's pretty good. I used to have the Big Mama foam tape from Simon, which is thinner than this. And I might get it again next time um, just because this is a little bit thicker and I usually like it a little bit of dimension. This is a little bit extra, which is fine. Um, but after this, I'm just going to use some black gems, just like three around the image, just to give it a little extra. But yeah, that's pretty much our card for today, guys. Thanks again for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and let me know what your thoughts are. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And if you aren't following me on Instagram and Facebook, do so there as well, because I post a little bit more often on those nowadays and you'll see some extra cards and some throwback Thursdays where I show you some of my old work and random cat photos on Wednesdays. <laughs> but anyway, until next time, guys. Thanks. Bye.